everybody, and welcome back to another episode of DTV, the Digital Transformation Channel. My name is Layla Medeiros, and I'm the CMO of InfoStretch, and I'm pleased today to bring you Rich Gallagher, who is a transformation and digital uh, business and technology leader. Rich, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Layla. Happy to be here. So uh, let's start off a little bit about your background. You have you have a diverse background um, in a variety of industries, um, and I wanted to see you know if you can tell us a little bit about some of your experience and your roles at those different organizations. Sure. Well, well as a software engineer by academic and in uh, specific execution in my earlier career, um, my my roles have expanded to include broader responsibilities uh, across the organization and um, whether that be in one industry or another. Uh, for me anyway, uh, my responsibilities, whether you call them CIO or CTO or, or Chief Digital Officer, uh, every one of them has included encompassing responsibility for the, the vision, the strategy, uh, and most specifically the execution of technology investments uh, to transform the organization. And so um, uh, I've had a particular focus uh, on those very mission critical um, uh, technologies that have driven the commercial products uh, the companies bring to market. It's very good to have somebody from a variety of different backgrounds because we are dealing with digital transformation, which is a very widely used term and sometimes it gets lost in the storm of translation. And that's the premise of, of the program that we have here is um, trying to better understand the meaning of digital transformation. So can you give us your definition of digital transformation based on your roles and the industries that you've worked in? Sure, absolutely. And it, and it is a tremendous question. Uh, the re one of which the reasons is because it continues to change the answer as far as I'm concerned. At one point in time, digital transformation was simply about taking something that was offline and making it online. Uh, and to many companies, that signaled success. Uh, but clearly, things have evolved since then. Having had experience in a number of different industries, I've tried to distill it down to, to a very, very simple construct, which is that um, digital transformation to me is a sincere and it's a focused application of these the varied, varied um, uh, digital techniques um, to create what we call transformative user experiences, uh, new commercial models, and operating methods. Uh, and so it's up to each company to, to decide which pieces of that and which particular digital techniques are relevant to them. Uh, and then once they've made that decision, they need to maintain a priority and focus on those. Uh, the whole key of this is that anything that is done there has to be a commonality of a very outcome-based uh, uh, expectation, and that basis has to deliver an increased business value. Uh, if not, then it's just time wasted. A big part of digital transformation is about driving efficiencies and, you know, speeding up the cycle with the right, um, you know, changes in operation and the right implementation of tools and so on and so forth. And let's talk a little bit about the SDLC, which is a big part of uh, digital transformation, as I mentioned. Um, specifically DevOps or test automation or continuous testing and you know so on and so forth that might also lead to the adoption of AI and machine learning. Can you talk a little bit about your experience with that and perhaps some of the do's and don'ts that you might recommend to some of the viewers of DTV when it comes to those areas? Sure. Well, I think uh, the word that I would use that ultimately drives um, the importance, um, the approach, uh, and ultimately the assessment of, of, of prevailing DevOps techniques is change, right? Organizations that are entering into um, or otherwise well into the, the, the execution of digital transformation are all, at, if they're willing to admit it, in completely uncharted territory. Okay. Right? Uh, and, and so therefore they have to be able to operate with an unprecedented level of agility. Um, DevOps is, at, is a cornerstone of technology ag agility. And, uh, and so therefore um, uh, a, a company's ability to assess or otherwise address the, 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 the impact of their changes has to be prepared um, to execute as effortlessly as possible um, at a high rate of change. And so 
um, the DevOps techniques allow the business to focus on this, what I call the substantive impact of technology, right? The, 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 the intelligent application creation, knowing that everything else around that um, is extremely well managed. Uh, and not just the execution of deployment, which most people equate, you know, with with um, uh, the basic value of DevOps, but it's also also about the quality and, and risk associated with the deployed technology. So, so I don't see a dis I don't maintain a distinction between DevOps and and ultimately um, the speed and quality of the technology you're trying to bring into your enterprise, uh, and and so therefore. Um, any company that's interested in any real meaningful digital transformation has to see that as one of their, has to see DevOps um, as one of their foundations. Excellent. Good. Well, that was, that was very insightful. Thank you so much, Rich, for, um, for uh, uh, enlightening us today on some of your experience. Uh, Rich Gallagher, everybody. Uh, and this concludes our episode of DTV. Thank you all for joining, and we look forward to seeing you next time. If you're passionate about digital transformation and you're interested in coming onto the show, please email us at dtv at infostretch.com. We would love to have you on. I want my DTV.